thanks for watching the video. Uh, so today I'm going to tell you about progression and how it went for me. I got a couple of things I got to do out at the aircraft, so uh, I'm going to take you all out there and I'm going to talk to you on the comms. Alright, right now I'm going out to the aircraft. I'm going to start the APU and then I'll uh, tell you what's been going on. What I needed to do. Well, I finished what I needed to do for the aircraft. I planned to use my audio, plugged it in before and it's worked, but I haven't plugged it into these type of cameras, so maybe. Anyways, I have a uh, microphone issues. So, all right. So I'm gonna go over what progression is. All right. So whenever I'm talking about progression or RL readiness level, it's referring to basically your unit checking you off that you're a pilot, kind of. I mean. So you go to Rucker, you learn how to fly, you learn how to do all these maneuvers, and then you go to your unit, and then your unit holds you to a certain standard on these maneuvers, and then they're gonna teach you a few more maneuvers and check you off on uh, things like water buckets, sling loads, things like that that you haven't done before. And there's three levels of progression. Readiness level three, two, and one. Readiness level three is basically uh, when you first get your unit and you do your let up, your uh, local area orientation flight, that will basically make you RL3. And there's other details to this that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go that in depth on it. But basically, to make it to RL2, you pretty much have to do everything that you were taught at Rucker, reacting to particular emergencies, roll on landing, level excel, things like that. Uh, that's all things that you'll have to do for your to be RL2. For, to go from RL2 to RL1, I mean, this is all going to be, your unit will dictate what uh, will really make you RL3, 2, and 1, but uh, I think it all kind of works around the same idea that Commander puts out a task list, and you get signed off on all these tasks, and then you're RL1. So anyways, for me, uh, it took me about three months to start flying and get progressed. And then it took me a couple months to really start flying again, just because my unit was busy. Uh, they were gone, I was gone, training and stuff like that. Everyone's gonna be different. It's just like Rucker. You might get a lot of like weather days, that's gonna slow you down, you're gonna forget some stuff, you might be bad on this stuff, they might want you to be, they might hold you to a higher standard on some, standard on some things. They may want some completely different things that you're not used to, so it's just a lot of variables in it. So I've talked to two other guys that are R01. They both hit R01 about the same time I did, and they got to their units about when I did. So three or four months, kind of like as an ex expectation. But if it takes longer or less time than that, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, so don't let that bother you. I got progressed right before I went on this assignment. By the way, it's I think I said earlier that it's Christmas Eve. I hope you all are having great holidays. Uh, Happy New Year, all that stuff. I probably won't put a video out before New Year's, so yeah. All right, I gotta go do the next aircraft. So I will talk to y'all in just a minute. All right, I think that's gonna do it for me today. Came out here for uh, a hike and found some cool stuff to come see. Also, if you didn't know, I have Instagram, TikTok. You can check those out. Message me on Instagram. Uh, it's easier for me and I can respond faster and it's private. Hope y'all have a great new year. Happy holidays and I will see y'all in a couple weeks.